In this week's edition of the Business Review, we take a look at the business of taking care of the dead and one funeral home which has gone further than others. We're talking about Spanish town based Perry's funeral home, Javon Keys. Javon Keys tells us more. He's described as a man passionate about the dead. As a toddler, I always love to attend every funeral I know. And in equal terms, he could be described as morbid. People might say I'm sick. But it's the passion. I always love to see the dead. Meet Peter Perry, the CEO of Perry's Funeral Home, which he runs from the heart of March Pen Road, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, making a living off the dead. His business is one people are uncomfortable talking about, even with the knowledge of the mortality of man. That's where Mr. Perry comes in. We offer every type of service when it comes to funeral. We offer closing, preparation of body, storage, casket, limousine service, the wreaths, the whole works. Most of these things you would expect from a funeral home, but Mr. Perry goes two steps further, first with the clothing. Because most funeral homes do not provide clothing. You have to, family have to be going there to get this, going there to get that. When you come here, everything under one cover. And also providing accommodation for loved ones traveling from overseas and needing a place to stay. That accommodation is now on the third floor of the funeral home. Then, in the true style of going after every buck, Mr. Perry is planning more, a complimentary bar at the location. Once you have a loved one here and you come, you can go up, drink a beer or water, a malt or something if you're thirsty. A lot of times people come here and they're thirsty, they can't buy water. I have to think about that. They're my customer, I have to think about their welfare. Hence, I came up with that idea. The bar is not ready, but what we do is send them on the street to get stuff to buy to drink for the moment. But as he looks to expand services, he's not thinking of expanding locations. I have a standard that I have to maintain. And no money or greed will let me drop that standard. And when I have one location, I can monitor whatever is coming from me and make sure that it's up to par. So I will not be expanding any further to any further location. Now established in the funeral business, Mr. Perry said it was not always that way. It's a business he built from scratch, starting without even a location in the competitive market to care for the dead. I, I asked a friend downtown to, to, to keep the first body I got in 2006. And another friend introduced me to a gentleman on um, Woodpecker Avenue, Mr. Forsyth, I'll never forget this, his man, this man's name. And he said, young man, I can see your passion. I'm going to help you with casket. When you get a funeral, come to me. I'll supply you with the casket and you pay me after. And that is how I started. And unlike other businesses, Mr. Perry said COVID-19 has not slowed down his operation. How profitable his endeavor is, is a closely guarded secret, one he may take with him to his grave. But he gave a hint of how lucrative it is, showing a 50,000 square foot facility in which he said he has freezer space for up to 300 bodies. It's why he looks back now on how far he's come and encourages others to follow their dream into whatever business they desire. As a little country boy, I come to town, no subject, never been to high school. I can tell people out there that, guess what? From Paris, make it. You can do it also. And as I said before, do your passion. And it, that's it. For the Business Review, I'm Javon Keyes.